Hi everyone, happy bank holiday and welcome back to my channel or hi if you are new. This week I'm using a kit from Happy Sherpa Papery. I'll leave her link down in the description box and this was a full kit. Um, I'm going to change up my spread again this week. I think I've said before how I'm getting a little bored in my Erin Condren so switching up how I plan or the spreads that I do just seems more exciting to me at the minute. I'm using my colourful Poppet date covers and this was last week's new release which were the mini Poppet post-it notes. I am going to be whiting out the dates that are already in my planner so I'll just zoom you in and then white out them. This little pen here has got white out on one side and it's double sided tape on the other side. I think I got it from Amazon. I'm not sure but it's such a handy little tool. So here I'm just going to write the dates on. I wrote down the date wrong um, so I just used some more white out and I actually wrote over that with a biro pen because this Papermate flare doesn't write the best over um, Tipex or white out. And then once I've done that I'm going to transfer them into my planner. So I hope you're all having a lovely bank holiday. I keep thinking that today is Sunday. So um, it's actually Monday. I'm doing this voiceover at oh, just gone five o'clock because I keep thinking it's Sunday because everybody's at home and usually I work on bank holidays. I can't remember the last bank holiday I had off, although obviously we went through lockdown so I've had lots of days off, but normally bank holiday I'm at work. So to me, I kept saying it was Sunday. In fact, while we were in lockdown last year, every time somebody asked me what day it was, I would say, oh, it's Wednesday, <laughs> even though I had no idea what day it was. It was just always Wednesday. So um, yeah, luckily I remembered it is actually Monday and my video is due to go up in just under an hour. So I thought I'd sit down and do the voiceover now. I have been using a lot of headers lately, which um, I don't normally do because in the Erin Condren Life Planner, the boxes are a little bit wider. So the stickers don't go from edge to edge, which kind of irritates me, which is why I haven't been using them. And then I think, oh, do you know what? I'll, I'll use it because it's a full kit and I want it to look all matching and pretty. And then halfway through, I kind of think, God, I wish I hadn't <laughs> done this because it doesn't fit my box. Um, so the washi down at the bottom, I decided to cut in half. And I'm just going to do a little bit of sticker matching up or sticker surgery as I call it. Um, so then I can have it go all the way across to the end of my boxes. Obviously I can't do that with the bow washi because I didn't want to split that in half. So I just used the extra cutoff bit that I used on the left and then the little gap that's left I decided to use the weekend banner. Again I don't often use them and I'm trying to get back into using them. <laughs> so this was a perfect little situation. So this week I'm going to be putting check boxes all the way along the top and then I'll put my full boxes all the way through the middle. I have done the full boxes through the middle before. I do like the way that um, it looks. I don't always do it because I don't I like to be free in my planner and have lots of room to write everything and then put a full box down if I need to fill up some time or I don't have a lot of plans happening. Um, so this week I decided to go a bit more functional. So at the top here I can write everything down that I want to do on that day or write lists in the morning on each day. I'm a big list maker. Normally I just scribble it down on a random piece of paper on the back of a, an envelope that's come through the door. I'll write it on anything as long as I've written a list in the morning with my cup of tea. I think I'm ready to take on the day. So I thought I would try it in my planner this week. It's nice to try a different spread and if I really don't like it, I turn the page in seven days and I don't have to look at it again. Well, until I do a flip through of my planner. Um, so yeah, that's why I like to switch up sometimes. So after putting some of the colored washi down as some headers, cause I didn't really want to use the little things. I then put down my full boxes all the way through the middle. I will say doing my spread this way, probably half the time it normally takes me to do a spread. It was so quick and simple. I didn't really have to do a lot of thinking. I just stuck stickers down and then just left the bottoms, which is what we'll be moving on to. I'm just gonna put down my to-do headers. Um, the one thing that I didn't like and the reason that I probably won't do my spread like this next week is that I only have the bottom to list sort of three things which also means I don't have a lot of room for my poppets either, which is a sad day. Um, but I did manage to fit some in there. So now we can go in day by day or the tiny bit of day by day. So first off, I'm using one of my new 
mini pop-it post-it notes just to mark down that I've actually got the day off and that we'll be going out somewhere as a family. Well, we did. We went out to, I think it was called Whit Whittlingham Park. Whittlingham. I can't say it, but that's where we went. We've just got back. And then for Tuesday, it's my mum's birthday. So I've put down one of the birthday part two poppets. I've also got a food shop delivery coming on Tuesday. So I've put one of my food poppets down. And then lastly, I want to go and post some orders. So I've put my post and deliver poppet down. And then hopping over to Wednesday. So on Wednesday, my boys have to do a COVID test. So I've put one of the pop it get tested stickers down. I also want to film. So I've put that on a swatch uh, pop it. And then my son has also got an exam. So I've put one of the mini pop it post it notes. That's really hard to say quick. And then hopping over to Thursday, I've got some normal housework things to do like laundry normal housework and then it is my green beans green beans did i say green beans i meant green green bins oh my goodness green bins there we go <laughs> okay so for friday i'm going to be uploading a b6 video in my simply gilded b6 and then i'm at wackle day so i've put one of the floral poppets down and then for the weekend, I wanted to clean the car. So I've put one of the poppets from the home life sheet with the kind of rubber gloves and spray bottle down. Then I've put one of the coffee poppets laying down because that will be me. And then I want to film next week's plan with me. And then hopping over to Sunday, we obviously do a COVID test on Sunday. So I've put that down on a get tested sticker. I've also popped a poppet bag sticker down as we want to get everything ready for school on Monday. And then over on my sidebar, I put down one of the last full boxes. I've also used some of the leftover washi and I've just popped that under the full box. And then I think I put some above the full box. Yes, I did. I put some above the full box too, just because I really liked this washi. It was so pretty. I wanted to use it all. So I've just put that at the top. So then it kind of frames the box on the side. And then I wanted to make sure I put down for me to do the savings and I couldn't find my poppet saving stickers. I put them somewhere and I don't know where they are. So I've just put down one of the poppet reminder boxes with a don't forget header and just wrote down the money that I'm transferring to savings. And then for my next week section, I grabbed the next week header and put a checklist down. I also put some of the leftover washi behind it because again, it's pretty. Why wouldn't I use it? I think it actually looks really nice with the little next week header on. Uh, so yeah, I put my checklist down and then what did I do? Oh, I put my weekly checklist down because I've been uploading more. So this is just so I keep on track, make sure I'm filming and editing the day before. Um, I'm not sure next week is I'm going to be uploading um, either a memory planner video with my new happy planner memory journal or a studio vlog or maybe even another B6. I mean, who knows? We don't know what's coming out next week, but that's okay. I will let you know, don't worry. Now we're going back up to my check boxes up at the top and I decided to use some of these little things just to mark some things already that I know. For example, uploading my Plan With Me video. There's a new uh, series of Glow Up on Tuesday. The Sewing Bees out on Wednesday and I upload my tiny video on Wednesday as well. And then on Thursday, I wanted to make sure I've got my B6 um, video filmed ready for Friday. Sorry, I'm really struggling to talk today. And I think I left it at that. I've obviously got some more things in here because I've added it since then. Um, but yeah, so this is how this week's spread turned out. Like I said, it was a really quick and easy spread to do. So if you're ever stuck on time, this is a really good way to just do it quickly. And then here's everything that I have got left. I feel like I used a lot of stickers. My planner is pretty chock full this week. <laughs> But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are and I will speak to you on Wednesday. Bye guys.